on, actually I can't even hear myself. This is Marley on normal. This is Diana on normal. Diana at her normal talking. Haha, <laughs> 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 this is Diana at her normal talking. <laughs> All right, this is Marley at her excited talking. Hopefully I don't yell too much. Um, do you want us to do talk back? Is there a way you could turn up my headset? You can do that here. Well, this is in each ear. Because this goes all in. So if you turn this, it just it turns you up in your ear. Yeah, so this, I just have sound in my right ear. This, you just have sound in your left ear. Wait, so are you wanting them to turn you up over there? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, that was, okay, that was, <laughs> Ayana Haratini, I know Sarah Cruz, I know Samurai Carabao, I know the Libero, I got the Center. How's Cure? Mackenzie Haratini. Nama? John Victor. Dovan? Victor? 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 Nama. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Every game. He's like in the middle of the section, straight across. He, he just wants it. He's right below um, that son's player. Well, I'm guessing she comes. Yeah? Hmm? To his? I don't know yet. We haven't had a season. We haven't had a game. Oh. I'm a little nervous now. No, you are. I saw them walking on campus and they're holding hands. And I was like, oh. The most they're gonna have really athletic kids oh if they get God. married. <laughs> it literally was so cute. <laughs> She's so cute. She is. Alright. 50 minutes, Diana. 50 seconds, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I win. Shoot, I'm gonna go get myself another lemonade. <laughs> Welcome inside the GC Arena for more WAC Volleyball Conference play action. It's the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley Vaqueros against your Grand Canyon University Antelopes. I'm Dinah Johnson alongside Marley Thompson, the voices behind this evening's volleyball action. Marley, the Lopes are back from an on-road, on-the-road performance against the New Mexico State Aggies. And you know, things did not really quite turn out how Tim Nolan would have wanted. Well, the Lopes took only one set in the two-game matchup against the New Mexico State Aggies. 
Although the Lopes lost to the Aggies two days in a row throughout both matches, the score of all sets were within the five point mark or less. So it was very impressive, Diana. These Aggies are the defending champions and boy were the girls able to step up to their level. Now Coach Nolan said defensively, those games, those girls were not where they wanted to be. It was just a little bump in the road and they got back into the gym on Thursday and got back to work. Now this game versus UTR GV will be a good game for the girls to find their group once again before they hit the road. Yes, this game is especially valuable because the ladies have a week off before they are on the road against California Baptist. Every game matters. Um, we're going to see you guys on the other side of this break for some more pregame banter. You're watching women's volleyball right here on GCU TV. How does a chicken sandwich become a Whataburger spicy chicken sandwich? Is it by slathering it in a fiery sauce? Adding some crazy hot toppings? Nah. If the chicken in the chicken sandwich wants to be spicy, it has to come from the inside. By marinating it in spices, frying it up, then cooling it off with fresh veggies, all on a new brioche bun. Good thing flavor can come from within. Good thing there's the new limited time spicy chicken sandwich at Whataburger. While you explore our country, let Community Tire Pros be part of your journey. We're here to give everyone something to look forward to. Message us or schedule an appointment online at Community Tire Pros today. Tire Pros, we're here for you. I'll give you a thumbs up. When you have the urge to play outside, Tire Pros wants to get you there. Offering convenience, selection, and our national roadside assistance. Message us or schedule an appointment online at Community Tire Pros today. Tire Pros, we're here for you. Welcome back inside the GCU Arena. And right now, we are currently sitting about halfway between our conference schedule. The Lopes have about four more opponents, including UTRGV, um, that they're going to face in the next coming weeks. They got the WAC tournament coming up really quickly. But in order to be set up for success for that, they need to play one game at a time. Marley, what are some ways that we can execute this evening's matchup with the Sanderson's Ford three keys to the game? Well, Diana, key number one is you've just been mossed. This is a little segment on Sports Center when it is a great play uh, based off Randy Moss. And so we are going to tie this into Kyra Moss, who had 10 kills to keep the Lopes in the game during the New Mexico State um, matches. So you just got Moss. They got to watch out for her because she is powerful. Number two, bounce back. Obviously, the girls lost two in a row. They need to bounce back here and, again, get that group. And then number three, fresh meat. There is a lot of freshmen here who have stepped up. Georgia Turi and Mia Goulart have started in their first in four straight matches. And there are a whole bunch of other freshmen on this team who have stepped up in enormous ways. Now we are going to send it down to the court for prayer and national anthem in the starting lineup.
Fans, please remain standing as we now honor America with the playing of the national anthem. The Star Spangled Banner will be performed this evening by our very own Thundering Herd pep band under the direction of the professor, Dr. Paul Cook, and tonight his associate, Nathan Swift. Thank you. And now let's meet the starting lineups for tonight's contest. First of all, for the Vaqueros of University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. The center is a 6'1 grad student, number two, Mackenzie Coates. An outside hitter, a 5'10 senior, number three, Deborah Nazario. Defensive specialist is a 5'10 senior, number six, Samaret Caraballo. An outside hitter, a 6'2 junior, number eight, Sarah Cruz. The Libero is a 5'11 sophomore, number 11, Iowana Catatonini. An outside hitter, a 6'2 sophomore, number 13, Victoire Nama. And a middle blocker, a 6'2 senior, number 14, Veronica Jandova. The Vaqueros are 0-6 on the season, 0-4 in Western Athletic Conference play. They're led by head coach Todd Lowry. Assistant coaches Leah Best, Vinny Vigon, and Paulina Ramirez. Love fans, get ready. Director of Volleyball Operations, the Pride 
And to go ahead and the recap ladder, those Cattle, starting lineups for you on UTRGV <laughs> side, we got Mackenzie Coates, Lundin, Deborah Nazario, Samaret Caraballo, Sarah Cruz, Ayana Haratiniti, Victoire Nama, and Veronica Jandova. And on Grand Canyon University side, we got Claire Mitchell, Mia Goulart, KJ Adams, Georgia Turi, Hannah Eskis, Jenny Murillo, and Kyra Moss. Your Grand Canyon University Antelopes are coached, are coached by head coach Tim Nolan and assistant coach Jeff Liu, as well as UTRGV is coached by Todd Lowry and assistant coaches Vinny Bygan and Leigh Best. And I don't know about you, Marley, but I'm excited to have some more volleyball action going on this week. We got women's today and tomorrow, and then we got men's on Thursday and Saturday. That's right, we got a lot going on in the volleyball world. A lot going on baseball, softball, swim and dive with the whack. And now we are starting off the week with Georgia Turry to set for the Lopes as we start this set off. Turry sends it over clean and clear. And a short ball by Victor Nama. Blocked by the lows, but picked up. Claire Mitchell sends it to Kyra Moss. That outside, that quick outside hit to that seam. That's going to fall for the Lopes. And the point, first point will go to your Grand Canyon University Antelopes. A little shank there on the UTRGV side. And again, point number one, you've just been mossed. Right there was a perfect example. Jenny Murillo, more like you've got Murillo'd with the free ball kill right there. Turry back to serve, it's 2-0. Gonna fly off the deep end. Point will go to UTRGV, it's two to one. Sarah Cruz is gonna go ahead and step back to serve. And Marley, we were talking earlier about this UTRGV team, and I broke down the stats of it. About 77% of the whole team comes from another country. <laughs> that is correct. I was doing my game prep and was a little was a little concerned, Diane, I'm not gonna lie, because we always wanna ensure that we get the names right here. So bear with us. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure if the viewers could tell as we were going through our starting lineups that, that they aren't typical U.S. names. But a lot of countries represented by this UTRGV team. Sarah Cruz stepping back to serve. We're all knotted up at two. Mitchell out to Moss. Moss hits that slide seam. And that's working for her. She already hit that once already early on in this first set. That's two kills for Moss. As we mentioned, she had 10 kills versus New Mexico State. And total this season, she has 32. Right there is an example of how she contributes to this team in a big way. Adams out to Jenny Murillo. She hits the corner, deep corner, great spot, great look. Point goes to the Lopes, and it's four to two. Jenny Murillo, what a force to be reckoned with. Jenny Murillo actually ranks 12th in kills per set with 4.75 nationally in the top 25. So, gotta watch out for her. What a great one-handed set by Mackenzie Coates. I believe that was Mackenzie. Nope. I'm not sure. I wish we had instant replay. I was just watching the BYU game last week, and they had the privilege of instant replay. That was actually uh, Deborah, Deborah Nazario. Thank you, Marley. Deborah with that great one-handed set. And Eskis with the slide seam. Utah GV returns. Good pickup by freshman Goulart. Off-speed by Samaret Carabao, and there's the Claire Mitchell dump early on in this first set. 
She sends it to Jenny Murillo, and she's gonna go with the down line seaman. I can already tell Jenny Murillo's really looking to see what is open, trying to feel out UTRGV, see what, what's going on. That'll be her third kill. And now we got Mitchell to step up. Great little attempt dump right there, but once again, senior Deborah Nazaro was there to recover it. I'm sure they've watched that plenty of times on film. KJ Adams with that lovely dig. And Sierra Cruz touched that one. In the deep court, point will go to the Lopes. It's six to three. There's frustration on Cruz's face because she's a junior and she knows she could have read that play a little bit better. Claire Mitchell, service ace. I gotta look how many she's got this year. I know the last game we commentated against Dixie State, she had, I think, a hat trick, even more. I think she had four service aces. She has a total of six aces this year, actually. Very impressive. And again, we were going crazy after the kills she all had, too, and she has 12 of those. Tori. Eskis from the middle, quick ball. That's gonna fall. Lopes go up by five, it's eight to three. Claire Mitchell once again. Good floater, Sarah Cruz picks that one up. Carabao, Adams, it's tight on the net. And Veronica Jandova, Hit that one a little bit outside. And UTRGV is going to call a timeout. Marley, we're seeing some good things early on. I'm really loving what we're seeing from Jenny Murillo. She's being really smart with her ball placement. And we've seen some good things from our middle. Middle, Kyra Moss and Hannah Eskis really going for that slide right around Claire Mitchell. It's working for them pretty good. And one thing that I really love about Hannah Eskis is when you look at her stats, she has 10 solo blocks. Very impressive. She leads the team with that. You can see on the UTRGV side, there might be a little lack of communication. There are some frustration going on on that side. The girls are really, you know, need to collaborate, come together. It is only set one. Usually there's jitters and their nerves. So. It is now nine to three at GCU. Let's see what UTRGV can do to respond to the Lopes. UTRGV is a relatively old, older team. Most of the girls, at least in our starting lineups, are seniors. I think they only have two freshmen. Yes, they have two freshmen. They got a grad student who's their main setter, Mackenzie Coates. But yeah, I'm interested to see how the rest of this match goes. I know that they fell to Dixie State, and we, last the last two weeks, we, we swept Dixie State in both their games. So it should be an interesting matchup. Well, when they played New Mexico State as well, that was their last game, they they weren't too far behind with New Mexico State either, just like GCU previously. Hannah. Looks like Hannah Eskis got a little bit of some of that, so that give her another solo block. <laughs> Big blocking powerhouse on the net. Claire Mitchell back to serve, it's 10 to three. She goes with the floater. Free ball, Adams picks it up. Sarah Haggy from the right side. Haven't seen her yet in the match. She's showing up. She's ready to play on this Monday evening. And man, she always likes to rocket it down those sides, Diana, and does it very effectively as well. Kermit will give a tough serve to the Vaqueros. Free ball over. Haggy out to Jenny Murillo. And that's going to be a kill for her. Give her her fourth kill this evening. And shank number two for UTRGV. Head coach Lowry over there talking to the players. And blocked. Hannah
going to ask us once again, give her another one. That'll be 12 solo blocks for her. Looks like Lowry wants to talk it over. We're going to go ahead and send you guys to a commercial break. We'll be right here. We'll be right back here. You're watching women's volleyball right here on GCU TV. University, a Christian university, is one of the largest and fastest growing universities in the country. GCU offers 270 dynamic academic programs with modern apartment style living, classrooms, labs, restaurants, and more. Located in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona, GCU's vibrant community and expansive campus is ranked top 20 for best college campuses in America. My university integrates the free market system with a welcoming Christian worldview perspective into its academic programs and throughout campus life. So you can put your faith into action and help transform communities. GCU campus students received over $157 million in scholarships in 2020, and many students attend GCU for less than the cost of a state university. Visit gcu.edu slash myoffer to see the scholarships you qualify for. Admissible high school seniors can schedule a free visit from anywhere in the country. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Visit gcu.edu slash my. Welcome back inside the rockin' GC arena as we're fully havoced out in here. And Marley, we were just talking about the history of matchups between UTRGV and the Lopes. Yes, these two teams have been playing since 2013. And if you go back and look up at the matches between the two, it kind of goes back and forth between wins and losses. However, each the last two times these teams has faced off, GCU has sealed the deal. Mario. Cruz picking that one up. Caraballo sends that into deep court. Jenny Maria's there. Roll shot, picked up by Cruz once again. Out to Caraballo, blocked. We're gonna go ahead and try the right side. Victoire Nama is gonna get her first kill of this evening as she subs out. Good, good placement though. I was right in front of that left side defender. Ready for that, that hard driven line ball, but fell right before that. Good placement by Nama. Care. Moriera. Jenny Muro from the right side. Good net play from the Lopes. Turi trying to get a hand on that ball. Wasn't played high enough for libero KJ Adams to pick up off of. Now, I'm not sure if you can see the sidelines, but the teams are very not proportionate of substitutes that they have. So UTRGV is really going to have to substitute and time manage well with everyone as that one drops in by Ginny Murillo. She's absolutely on fire this season. That's her fifth kill already. And we're 14 points into the first set. Yeah, Jenny Murillo has 95 kills this season already. Claire Mitchell with the beautiful dig. Haggy cross court picked up, but that's gonna fall. Wasn't quite high enough to make a play on the ball. Jenny Murillo. Stepping back again to serve. It's 15 to five. That one's gonna sail out of bounds. It's Ashley Lifgren, one of those freshmen we were really impressed with early on in the season, checks into the game. Trickles over the net, Adams there. And there's Kate, Claire Mitchell. Hallmark, set her dump. She loves to just see if teams are paying attention just enough. And UTRGV right there on that last play, almost had a let where it hit the net and almost dropped down, but then Claire Mitchell again with that dump. Cruz with the roll shot, falls out of bounds. Vaquero's really struggling to make make plays on the ball, both defensively and offensively. 
Cruz. Cruz again, she's gonna go with the off-speed roll shot, and that's gonna fall right in that donut area. Anna Hartaniti. Back to serve, it's 17-7. Moss, little miscommunication. Lifgren's there to pick it up, though. Cruz, cross court. That's gonna fall just inside the line. Marley, I don't know. I don't know about that one. It was hard. It looked out from where I, from where I'm sitting. But you know that line judge has a good look at it, so we're gonna go ahead and trust him. Aratiniti, floater. Lifgren picks it up. Tori. Cruz, good pickup by KJ Adams. It's tight on the net. Set her little joust between Moss. Point will go to the Loves. It's 18 to 8. KJ Adams, as we have mentioned, she is new to the Libero spot this year. She has done a great job, actually, last game during New Mexico State. She had kind of a a foot dig, if you would want to call it. She is very versatile. She had 13 digs in the first game against New Mexico State, and then she also had 20 digs against Dixie as well. I'm loving watching her settle into that libero position. I know she stepped in there a few times last season, um, but yeah, it's it's really good. it's really great to see her get comfortable in that position and and kind of make it her own. Goulart. Tori, roll shot. Cruz is there, but a little too far for her team to retrieve it. Tori's another one I, I'm, I'm seeing get really comfortable on the court. You know, that first game when she came in, I think it was a couple matches ago, she seemed a little bit nervous, but she's really getting comfortable now. We're seeing some great things out of her. Tori. Cruz, roll shot. Goulart's there. And there's a beautiful slide by Kyra Moss. That was so sweet to see. The timing was perfect on that one. Oh man, Diana, it was like slow motion down there when she went up and just went down for the kill. Nicely executed right there. Great power by Moss. Can't wait to see more of her tonight. Goulart. It's going to fall inside the court. Deborah Nazario with a kill. That's her second. And that, that was around the same place as the other one uh, where the girls thought that it was out, but it was indeed in, so maybe a little bit better reading of the court right there on the back line side. Tori puts it inside the block. It's 22 to nine, rapidly closing in on the end of this first set. UTRGV tried to go in for the block right there, but it dropped right in front of the blockers after that. Tori, great serve. Deborah Nazario again. Three kills. She says, oh no, GC, I'm not gonna make it easy on you. Cruz back to serve. It's gonna go into the net. KJ Adams in possession of the serve. It's 23 to 10. Two points away from game or set point. Beautiful line drive by Samaret Carabao. That was great. Normally we see Goulart kind of sit back and calmly take that. She's she's very cool and calm, but shank from the freshman there. Jenny Murillo off the block. Cruz can't get there in time. And just like that, it's set point. 
off the fingertips right there. UTRGV cannot quite get a handle on that ball. Great effort though at the end, trying to maybe do a little J-stroke or something down there to get the ball back. Ava Mason checks into the game. Seen a lot of our incoming freshmen, which we love to see. She puts that inside the court. That's gonna be a service ace for freshman Ava Mason on set point. That's a way to go out. Great execution right there by Ava Mason. Love seeing her come in all the time. When she substitutes, she delivers. She has had three assists and three digs, and now one service ace. She is not letting the lobes down. We will be right back here inside the GCU Arena after this short break. University, a Christian university, is one of the largest and fastest growing universities in the country. GCU offers 270 dynamic academic programs with modern apartment style living, classrooms, labs, restaurants, and more. Located in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona, GCU's vibrant community and expansive campus is ranked top 20 for best college campuses in America. My university integrates the free market system with a welcoming Christian worldview perspective into its academic programs and throughout campus life. So you can put your faith into action and help transform communities. GCU campus students received over $157 million in scholarships in 2020, and many students attend GCU for less than the cost of a state university. Visit gcu.edu slash my offer to see the scholarships you qualify for. Admissible high school seniors can schedule a free visit from anywhere in the country. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Visit gcu.edu slash my offer. About time you washed it. Getting ready to trade it in. What are you doing? Just a little shopping. Wait, a new truck. Don't you think I should be involved? Of course. We'll head over to San Jacinto Ford as soon as I'm done. I don't have time today. Hope we're going with four doors this time. Ooh, of course. I know exactly what I want. I mean, we want. A lightning blue Ford F-150 Supercrew. Like set one is All done. Shop from home, buy from home, we deliver. From the dealer you can trust, Sanderson Ford. From reimagining the way you work to reassessing what you need, you've changed the way you do business. And now, so have we. With no annual contracts and flexible internet and voice solutions, you'll have what you need to get back to business. Rethink, reconnect, reimagine. Switch to Cox Business today. Welcome back inside the GCU Arena. GCU fans, get the best gear to show off your Lopes pride. Go to lopeshops.gcu.edu to find everything GCU from the newest apparel to the coolest accessories. Make sure to use promo code GAMEDAY20 today only to get 20% off for being a GCU TV viewer. Log on and get your gear today. I just might do that, Marley. <laughs> I'm in need of some new Lopes gear. Maybe I should get on right now. <laughs> Probably not. All right, so we were talking about earlier how 77% of this UTRGB team is from different countries, and we didn't go over which countries those were. And I was just going through it, holy cow, there are so many. We got representations from Turkey, Greece, the Czech Republic, France, Brazil, and the Dominican Republic, and not to mention, of course, the US. We got a few Texans on the team. So McKenzie Coach is gonna kick it off. Great up. Good second touch by Claire Mitchell. A little pancake. McKenzie Coach to serve. Claire Mitchell, as we have mentioned, has a lot of great volleyball qualities that make her amazing. She had a season high of 20 digs against New Mexico State. And again, trying to get that little pancake right there, like you mentioned. Court. Jenny Murillo, down line, she got the touch on that one. It'll be her seventh kill. 
every night of tonight. KJ Adams to serve. KJ Adams back to serve. And that's going to go off the block, Nama. With the kill. She's climbing the stat ranking. She's got three kills, which puts her right up there with Deborah and Nazario, both at three apiece. Nama drops it short. And that's going to be an ace for Victoire Nama. What a great serve. He tripped out the lopes with that little drop short. Now it seems like here going into set two, they have come out, UTRGV has come out with a little bit more tenacity as they are now leading the lopes. Eskis, great placement. And you know, I'm loving seeing our middles run those slides. The timing's there. They must have just sat in practice for a solid half an hour and just ran those. <laughs> Mitchell back to serve. Good floater. Good pick up by KJ Adams. Out to Jenny Murillo. Cross court Jenny touch. Anna Sharutaniti. With the touch on that one. Claire Mitchell still in possession with the serve. We're knotted up at three apiece. Aratiniti. Nice kill by Samurai Kairbayo. Great placement. Kairbayo, very decorated on their side. 26 kills, 50 digs. Huge contributor to UTRGV. Sarah Haggy with that kill. And yeah, Sarah, Samara Kirabayo, she's a senior, and she's also, she's one of the ones who represents one of those countries. She's from the Dominican Republic. She's tied for sixth in program history with 10 matches of 20 plus digs, which is crazy. She's also studying international business. A little interesting fact about her. And it's only her second season with UTRGV and quite amazing stats for her already. Freshman out of Bulger with that serve. Kirabaya picked up by Adams. Haggy tooled off the block and out of bounds. She's raising her stats up. She's at five kills this evening. One dig. And Haggy is one of GCU's seniors with 31 kills. Again, she really likes right, left side, rockets down the line. Carabayo with the serve. Rocket of a serve. Mitchell there. Haggy roll shots that one. Nama picked up almost. Looks like we almost saw a pancake out of KJ Adams. But Marley, we're seeing UTRGV kind of figure some things out, get settled in. Like we talked about earlier in that first set that maybe they were just a little bit, you know, trying to get, gain surroundings. Oh yeah. Every time you come into a new facility, especially with the circumstances of playing two days in a row, it takes a little while to get comfortable for teams as well, especially when you're traveling but it looks like they are equipping pretty fast here inside the arena. Goulart. <laughs> Lovely kill by Veronica Jandova. Haven't seen her at all, but she hit that slide pretty beautifully. She's right up there with our Lopes players running those lovely runs. Goulart trying to get that one up for the Lopes, but that power on that kill was a little much for her right there. <laughs> Moss. It's just a slideshow out here. I mean, come on. What 
what a what a night of volleyball. You know it's gonna be great when your middles are running slides left and right. Dury. A little miscommunication. They're able to keep it over. Mitchell. Moss! Once again with the slide. That'll be her sixth kill. Some things you can see on UTRGV side. Communication, as mentioned earlier, and ball control, Diana. It's, it seems a little out of sorts. Blocked. They're trying to play it off the feet there. Good blocking by Jenny Murillo and Kyra Moss. And it's nine to eight in favor of the Lopes. Turi. Nama blocked again, Mitchell and Moss. Murillo, Chardiniti making a play on that. Nama, Adams there. Murillo down cross court, that sneaks in the back line. It's 10 to eight. Jenny Maria, I would I would call her kills dirt dessert, which means her kills are so sweet, just like dessert, Diana. <laughs> That's a good one. I never heard that one before. Coming in from the number 17, Ada Bulger. Ada Bulger stepping into the game. One of those few freshmen that they got. He's from Turkey, majoring in business. Rio! That'll be her ninth. Tenth. She's in double digits. She's got ten kills, one dig, and one block. I keep waiting for her to, to beat her uh, match high. It's up there. I think it's around 23. Murillo takes the ball. Tip. That one's picked up. Now I'm a roll shot. Adams is there. Dumped by Claire Mitchell. Now I'm a cross court picked up by Turi. Sent out. Murillo off speed shot. Blocked and out of bounds. Ada Bulger coming away with her first kill. Ada Bulger was very did a very nice job executing and keeping her team in that little set right there. Kept going off her fingertips, saving it, and in the end, getting her team a point. Good pick up by Mackenzie Coates. Rio cross court. Ayana Sharitamidi tried to sprawl out for that one. Wasn't gonna go. Yet another kill for the Lopes. It's 12 to 10. Man, with Jenny Murillo, it is a dirt dessert buffet. <laughs> love that. I love that, Marley. Haggy. Jenny Murillo kept alive. And Eskis out of the middle. And that one's going to go off the block. Samaret Carabayo with that kill. She's at four. Man, once again, freshman Ada Bulger from UTGR, UTGRE side, saving it once again for her team. Greatly executed. She, is, she would match one of our three points, the fresh meet. And UTRGV can be kind of a mouthful sometimes. <laughs> Especially when you're saying it a bunch of times. Get excited. <laughs> and when you get excited. Deborah Nazario is going to step back to serve. And we're knotted up at 12. So UTRGV is really tailing the Lopes in the second set. 
Greatly read there by the back line as Ashley Lifgren comes in for GCU and she will be serving it as well. Lifgren, standing float, serve. Bulger, picked up by Haggy. Set her dump, Claire Mitchell almost there. Line judge rushes up and says, no, that was down. But great effort. Man, I really loved Haggy's play when she stuck out her arm. Little J stroke right there by Sarah Haggy. And Mitchell got dumped on her own little move right there. Yep. Haggy. Once again, making plays. Keeping GCU in this game. It's her sixth kill. Anna Eskis checks in, goes to the back line. That one's gonna go outside the bound, outside the boundary line. Veronica Jandova trying to steal a kill away from the Lopes. You, you can see like, John Dova kind of jumping to the right side right there, trying to dump it in, but could not quite execute it the way that she would like. But they have come out with extra energy and it is a close match here inside the arena. 15-13 GCU. And this is kind of what I was hoping for a little more. I mean, you can, I love close matches. There's nothing more exciting than to witness that. And, you know, I think UTRGV, Todd Lowry, the head coach, just kind of sat the girls down and was like, hey, you guys need to settle down. I realize that this is a new gym and you haven't played in a solid while because of our schedule, but we just need to settle in and remember to have fun and do what we've been training for, for literally this whole time. I mean, it's been, a, it's been, they missed their season. Yes, and they got games canceled. Their one game they were supposed to play before this got canceled, and then the one against Chicago got canceled just as well for the Lopes. And, they are looking for their first win as they are 0 and 6 this season. So looking to come out on top, leading into tomorrow's game versus GCU as well. Yeah, most definitely. Rigorous schedule indeed, as far as cancellations go, but the girls are trucking through it as they should. Haggy cross court. Good pick up by Pamela Moreta. Peggy once again. Beautiful kill by Veronica Jandova. Things are working, things are clicking for her. That's her second kill with that slide run. She has very impressive stats so far this season. At kills, as you mentioned, she has 44 already, and three aces, and then 51.5 points this season. Great oh, dig oh, by KJ Adams right there. Oh, not a dig. Ace. That oh, was ace. a beautiful was ace, ace. <laughs> by Samarit Carabao, <laughs> the senior. That was so. That was so amazing. It, it had some great art to it. It just kind of just went up and then dropped. That's something you see out of the men's team. Balls with that kind of movement. Mia Gallart to serve. Mia Gallart, freshman from Hawaii, back to serve. Loops are up by one, it's 16 to 15. Nama off the block, Adams is there. Turi, cross court, it's picked up. Gallart's there, out to Turi once again. She's gonna go off the block. She's aiming for the line, but snagged some of the hands of the outside blocking hand. 
Lopes are up by two, it's 17 to 15. Gillard. Good pick up by Mitchell, she's there. Adams, outside to Tori. Carabao with the pick up, Nama. Down line, Goulart's there. Tori with a roll shot, that's gonna fall. That's her fourth kill of this evening. And you know what I love about this set is that GCU is more on the hard nails, strike it down, and UTRGV is more of the floaters and dumps, and it's very interesting to see the two different techniques they're after right now. Beautiful dig by KJ Adams. Nama, Adams is there. Mitchell pulls it out. Free ball. Nama off the blocking hands. Lifgren's there. Tori blocked. Adams tries to pick it up. Not able to make the play. Adams is sitting about 15 digs, which is th about what I thought it'd be. You know, I thought she maybe she was around reaching that 20, 20 dig mark. But beautiful digs out of that last whole rally there. Adams. Moss. And Mitchell <laughs> from the middle. That was so funny. I saw Kyra look at her like, what are you doing, girl? Like, you're the center. Get back over there. But Mitchell with her first kill. A great evening. response right there by Mitchell. Again, it shows she can do it all. Greatly read right there. She said, not in my house. Now she can do it all, folks. Adams, good pickup. That's tight. Moss sends it in to that deep corner. Great play. Smart, smart volleyball, high volleyball IQ out of Kyra Moss. And one more time, you just got mossed. Yeah, right back to those Sanderson four three keys to the game. The number one, you just got mossed. And we're gonna go ahead and keep it here as the game is actually pretty tight. I mean, you know, head coach is gonna talk it over with the Vaqueros, see, see what's kind of up, give them a little bit of break. And um, hopefully they'll be able to pull back into this game. Yeah, definitely a regroup and talk about a few things. GCU has 33 kills. UTRGV only has 17. And then on the dig side, GCU has 40. And they have 28. So something has to give. Most definitely. And to go back and talk about the head coach of UTRGV, Todd Lowry. He's had two national championships as the head coach of the University of Texas at Brownsville. And he was hired at UTRGB on uh, January 9th of 2015. He also was the head coach for National American University. In his bio, it said NAU, and I was like, no way. I don't, I don't think you'd coach at NAU, but it is National American University. And he also coached at UTB. But his record was so impressive. During his two, those two times at those two schools, he went 416 to 36, which is a .92 winning percentage. That's insane. And he also won four NAI national championships in 2002, 2006, 2011, and 2013. So an impressive coach we got in the building. And right there was attack error by Nama and Turi up to serve again. Nama off the block, Goulart's there. Mario with the kill. That's her 12th. And there's Goulart. She was calm, cool, and collected when Nama just absolutely rocketed that one down line. And that's something Tim Nolan has talked about. She always has a smile on her face and talks about how nothing ever phases her. That's gonna go to the Vaqueros. It's like it went off the Lopes blocking hands and out of bounds. Mackenzie Coates back to serve. Only grad student on the team. 
This is actually her first season with them as well. And man, is she already decorated here. Yeah, she played at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, which I believe they played earlier on this season, um, as well as Wyoming, and now she plays for UTRGV. Tori. Jenny Murillo with the off-speed off tip. That's gonna fall. Lopes are dangerously close to the end of this set. It's 23 to 18. Right there, graduate Coates was trying to get that dig, trying to get the ball up, but could not deliver. Adams with the serve. And there's the freshman, Ada Bolger, with the kill. That's her second one. And you know, now that I look at the stats for the Vaqueros, pretty much all their kills are pretty evenly distributed. We got Samaret Carabaya with five, Victoire Nama with four, Deborah Nazaria with three, and Sarah Cruz and Veronica Jandava with two, as well as Otto Bolger. Good pick up by Tori. Out to Jenny Murillo. Picked up by Sharatanidi. Lopes scrambling to keep it in play. Jenny Murillo, Sharatanidi picking it up. Point's gonna go to Lopes. They're gonna say it's number six in the net. The Vaqueros questioning that. Head coach looking at the up rough like, what's up? And man, all pars on GCU side had a little bit of that ball play. Great solo block by Claire Mitchell. Great dig by Mia Goulart, who is now substituted out by Sarah Haggy. And UTRGV could not quite get there for the service ace by Claire Mitchell. That's her second one. And man, I don't remember her acing much last year in her debut as a freshman. But this year she's really just come out as a very strong server. We just love to see that. She's just a she's just a great all-around player. Especially we saw that she got a kill earlier on. And even earlier on in a, another game, she was the the kill leader there for an earlier on in one set. She can obviously set great. And she can she can just do it all. Well, and you talk about development, Diana. And that is a perfect example of talking about last year how you couldn't see many service aces for her, but now this year she has eight service aces, just had a solo block, increasing those kills all around is a well-rounded player. All right, we're gonna go ahead and send you guys to a break. You're watching women's volleyball right here on GCU TV. It's time to get away. It's time to escape. It's a new day to play. Your retreat awaits at Talking Stick Resort. Indulge your appetite for excitement with our thrilling table games, our electrifying slots, our outstanding restaurants, um, and our exceptional accommodations. It's all waiting for you. It's a new day to play at Talking Stick Resort. Play in style. Reassessing what you need. You've changed the way you do business. All right, thank you. you and now, stats, right? so have we. I can start off stats. You can With no annual it. contracts and flexible internet and voice solutions, you'll have what you need to get back to business. Rethink, reconnect, reimagine. Switch to Cox Business today.
Welcome back inside the GCU Arena where the Lopes have taken set one and two. Well, to keep up with everything, GCU fans, if you haven't already, it's time to download the Lope Nation app. Watch GCU home sporting events directly from your app, receive personalized news and score updates for your favorite Lopes teams. Follow the Lopes closer than ever with scores, schedules, stories, and more. And even more perks will be coming soon. Search GCU Athletics in your phone's app store or download the GCU Athletics app now at gculopes.com slash app. Well, strong start for GCU. Bouncing back from the two losses from New Mexico State, looking to seal the deal in set three, which can lead us to looking at the stats from set two. Right there, you can see assist, pretty much tied digs. Not around the same thing. GCU has done a very well, nice job of keeping the ball up. Kills, very close, great job. And total attempts, GCU has a little bit more than UTRGV. Hitting percentage, GCU is way up there. You want above a .300 hitting percentage. So very nicely executed by the Lopes. Yeah, so great effort from both sides. And, you know, that second set was more of what I wanted to see out of the Vaqueros. And I believe we're going to see more of that, the second set from the Vaqueros, than we saw the first set of the Vaqueros in this third set, which is going to be great. And we are underway for set three. GCU kind of having some final words with each other. Let's see if the Lopes can sweep them here during day one of the two-day two-game matchup. Freshman Georgia Turry. In the back to set for the Lopes. Fresh meat hoping to deliver. And to start set three off, we get a service error from the Lopes. Victor Nama back to serve. Jenny Murillo, cross court, Ayana Chartaniti. Yeah! Samaret Carabayo <laughs> with the kill. Her team running to join her. And UTRGV goes up by two, it's 2-0. Two with the kill. That's her 14th kill of this evening. Just an absolute staple to the Lopes offense this season. Adams. <laughs> Blocked, not today, by Jenny Murillo and Hannah Eskis. And Otta Bulger trying to set it up and knock it down right in front of the blockers, but the blockers read her even before she got there, but she said, that was on me. Adams. Carabao blocked Eskis and Mitchell. It's a back-to-back -back block party out here on this Monday evening inside the GC block Arena. Block party in Block City, Diana. Adams. Carabile stuffs it through. Goulart chasing it down, decides, eh, maybe I shouldn't lay out for that one. 
<laughs> running out of real estate on the side. Gotta, gotta love the effort though by the freshman showing she deserves to be in that spot. Oh, 100%. Otta Bulger tipping it over. Jenny Murillo. Carabao down, off, off speed shot. And that one's gonna stick inside the court. Eskis with the slide. I thought for sure that one snuck out of bounds, but she kept it in, snagged a little bit of that white tape at the end of the court. Lopes are up by one, it's four to three. Now I'm gonna pick that one up. Carabao, roll shot. Beautiful spot. Jenny Maria was just like, ooh, that was pretty. She kinda just was like impressed with that one. I'll give it to you. Yeah, great technique. As again, you can see the roll as it rolled to the right side and the Lopes could not quite read it. Adams. What great timing. Eskis with the one from the middle. Locked and out of bounds. Maria with the kill. I didn't even know what was going on with that play. That was so beautifully executed. And I don't even know what, what kind of run that would be, if that would be called the one. I gotta talk to Tim Nolan about that after. <laughs> but hey, that one-handed dump attempt by Hannah Eskis. Nicely done. Unfortunately, they read that play. Carabao. It's out of bounds. Point goes to Lopes. Vaquero's protesting, maybe. Hey, we think we saw a little touch on that one. And that's where I wish we had instant replay. We could reel it back and look at it closer. They're still gonna side in the favor of GCU. Freshman Lifgren serving. We're gonna call number 13. So that's Sarah Haggy in the net. This point goes to the Vaqueros and Carabao. Stepping back to serve. Carabao, Adams, tip by Haggy. Adams picked up, sent out to Eskis. That one flies wide. Point goes to the Vaqueros, we're knotted up at six. Oh man, I, I love the technique by Hannah Eskis when she steps into this game and substitutes. She's not afraid to run some interesting runs, basically, during the game, which I love about her. I love seeing her step in and just go for it. And a little drop down right there in front of the blockers. Once again. And it looks like it was right off the fingertips of Lifgren right there. So the points will go to UTRGV. And this is the this is the third set I was hoping for. Well, this is really the set I was hoping for at the beginning, if I'm being honest. But um, good back and forth action from both teams. Moss tips it over. This communication between a few of the Vaqueros. And <laughs> inside the arena, it made me smile. I hear in some of the fans saying, you got mossed. Once again, goes back to point number one, key number one that we said. Good serve by Goulart. Adams picks it up. Out to Tori, it's tipped over, picked up by the Vaqueros. Out of the middle. Lifgren, trying to keep that one alive. In the process, gave a free ball to the Vaqueros. They put that one away. Great strong play by a graduate coach right there. She has 10 kills on the season and 111 assists already. Racking up the stats. Turi, 
cross court deep. Nama sends that one out of bounds. No touch off the block. Phillips go up by one. It's nine to eight. Turi back to serve. Nama. Moss hits that one into the net. And although Moss did not make it over the net right there, last game again versus New Mexico State, she had a hitting percentage of .474 and as we know, a .300 is, you know, a good hitting percentage. Hers was excellent. Kyra Moss coming away with the kill. That'll be her ninth. So she's almost up near her 10, 10 mark from that last game. Adams, now I'm gonna make short work of it. Bolger sends it over. Jenny Murillo off the block, picked up by Nama. And Deborah Nazario is going to struggle to tip that one over. Point goes to Lopes. It's 11 to 9. Try to do a, a little floater over to GCU's side, but instead dropped right down on theirs. Adam sends that one outside the court. Carol staying on the tails of the Lopes. It's 11 to 10. We got number three, Nazario, senior setter for UTRGV. Hannah Eskis with that slide run. She's climbing the stats. That's her fourth. Freshman Bulger trying to get there again, but in the end, ended in a, a little shank that went in there into the stands. Mitchell. I'm going to pick that one up. Bulger, freshman. Really keeping the Vaqueros in it. That's her third kill. Really making plays when it's most needed. Awesome to see that the fresh me on both sides are really stepping up for each of their teams. And that's going to be a service ace. Vicaro's really pumped by that. And once again, that, it's that freshman. Bulger, Autumn Bulger. That one out of bounds. Lopes gain one point. It's 13 to 12. Lifgren. Adams picks it up. Tori. Nama running it down. Sharu Taniti falling short by just literal inches of the net. Trying to make up for the error that she had. Great work ethic by UTRGV, but again, goes back to ball control. Refs are going to blow their whistle. Call it on. GCU. I'm not sure I didn't see the number for who they called in the net. I believe it was Hannah Eskis in the net number 14. Adams. Tori sending it over. Joust by Eskis. Haggy sends that one cross court. It's picked up. Kept it play Nama. Roll shot, picked up by Adams. Tori with the tip. Namai into the seam. 
Victor Nama with her sixth kill. And we're knotted up at 14. Man, this is some great back and forth action between both teams. Sarah Haggy tools it off the block and out of bounds. That's her seventh kill. She's got two digs. And Marley, we've got a lot going on around campus the, in the next couple weeks as well as this are they, week. Are they hireable? Can I hire them and take them with me? Correct. Women's the volleyball is back here tomorrow at 3 p.m. as they take on UTRGV, looking to shut them down before they go back on the road. Men's volleyball is up against recently played BYU, where it was a close match for them. So tune in on Thursday at 7 p.m. to see what happens with that. Baseball versus Oregon State on Thursday at 6 p.m. They recently played the SEC Missouri Tigers and took home three wins. There's also the WAC Swim and Dive Championship going on for men's and women's. And women's basketball will have their last two games before they send it off. We got a lot going on. Wow. Women's basketball season is absolutely flying by. I feel like they just started their season literally yesterday. Amazing team this season. Definitely could see them going a long way. Yeah, definitely excited for women's basketball. We got a lot of big matchups. Men's volleyball playing the number one team in the hey, nation, might I add, BYU. They played them literally a couple days ago, and they took them to five sets. So that's going to be worth tuning into, folks. Nama down line, picked up by Mitchell. Tori chasing it down. Couldn't quite get there because of that video monitor, video signage down by the court. Veronica Jandova. Haggy off the block. Nama cross court. Off-speed shot. Turi into the block. And I mean, she had coverage there, but she put so much speed behind that ball that it was hard to cover. It was kind of like, bounce what? Back. <laughs> ETRGV goes up by one. It's 16, 15 to 16. Mitchell with the dump, picked up, kept in play, sent over. Aggie with the push. Nama, Mitchell out of system, sent out to Haggy. Nama, off speed. Adams is there. Tori! That donut campfire area is going to end that long rally. And man, I wish I had my stopwatch on. That was a long one. Yeah, great rally right there. And at number seven, redshirt junior Moreta trying to get that deck. It kind of popped up at the end, but unfortunately could not get it there. And Kyra Moss, happy birthday. That's what I like to call one of those. Because, uh, you know, you, you give a girl like Kyra Moss a chance on those free balls, and she's just going to absolutely exclamation point it so hard. Say it with me. You just, just got, got mossed. mossed. No. No. Needy, trying to chase that one down. <laughs> Girls are really coming together these last few points of this <laughs> third set. Kyra Moss once again <laughs> pulling up for the Lopes. Now having 11 kills, surpassing the one against New Mexico State. Aratiniti sends that one over. Moss blocked. Mitchell just inches away from that one. UTRGV chasing down the Lopes. It's 18 to 17. Nail biting last set right here. UTRGV trying to stay in it. Moss picked up. 
Almost another happy birthday there. Tori. Nama off the block. Picked up by Adams. Good pick up by Ashley Lifgren. Goulart's there as well. Moss, there's a touch on that cross court slide. It's 19 to 17, and what a play by both sides. And I mean, there's a reason that we're ranked in the top 25 for our defense. As a team that loves defense, is averaging 18.8 digs per set to rank 14th nationally. It's pretty impressive defense out of our uh, slopes this year. Victoire Nama, back to serve, it's 19 to 18. That one trickles over the net, Moss is there. Jenny Murillo with the kill. That's her 16th kill this evening. And again, UTRG was close to a let right there, Diana. And on the sideline, the assistant coach was not happy that the girls did not quite get there. Stuffed through by Samurai Caraballo. Deborah Nazario stepping back to serve. Another one of the seniors on the team. She's a captain. Sends that one into the net. It's 21 to 18. Dangerously near the end of this third set. Freshman Otta Bolger with the kill. Claire Mitchell to serve. Claire Mitchell steps back to serve. Turbio rockets that one. It's the line judge. He's like, yep, that's in. And a dirt dessert for her right there. Sweet kill, beeline to the right corner. Maggie, roll shot. Picked up by Adams, kept in play by Haggy, sent over by Turi. Joust, getting center. Mitchell's there out of system, out to Haggy. Cross court off the block. It's 23 to 20. Sarah Haggy picks up her eighth kill of this evening. And KJ Adams has not been mentioned a lot. She has 23 digs so far against UTRGV. Great backline work from her. Lifgren to serve. And Block City right there. Great job by Haggy. It's like Hannah Eskis might have had a little bit of to do with that one. Haggy. Out of system, out to Tori. Cross court pick, good pick up by Anna Sharataniti. <laughs> That's a miscommunication on the lope side. And the ball dropping in that gap right there where there was no white to save it. I mean, they were kind of all over the place on that, on that rally. They just need a little reset here. Now 24-21 GCU looking for that one last point. Adams. Haggy, and that's going to be blocked by Victoire Nama and Veronica Jandova. 
Samara Caraballo back to serve. It is 22-24. He's gonna go with the short ball picked up. Set back to Haggy, cross court. Back row attack. Tori, kept in play. Blocked again. Tori, roll shot, picked up again. Still in play by UTRGV. Setter dump still picked up. Nama. Haggy off the block and out of bounds. What a rally from both sides. I mean, you got to love the defense from UTRGV. They were just scrambling and doing everything they could, working for that last point. Great effort from the Vaqueros. What a nice last rally to seal the deal here for GCU. A lot of one-handed action going on, a lot of digs, great sprawling out and effort by each side, which now that the game has come to an end, we are going to take a look at our player of the game. Kyra Moss is our player of the game. There is a lot of girls on the UTRGV team that got Moss. She has 11 kills, no digs or assists, but kills is where she has highlighted the most. She really just came out with fire in this game. And I mean, I've seen it before, but it's, it's been a while, and, and I love to see her just running her signature slide and just going for it. And even that little happy birthday in the middle of that third set was just, oh, I love to see it out of her. I haven't, so, haven't seen her a lot in those Dixie State games that we were doing, so she came, she came out with a little extra fury coming from New Mexico State. Great to always see her on the court. And to go ahead and recap the game, we're gonna go ahead and look at the stats. Um, as far as UTRGV goes, Samara Caraballo led in kills. She had 13. She also got a double-double. I see that she has 12 digs. So good job for Samara Caraballo. Victoire Nama had seven kills, as well as three digs. And the freshman, Ada Bulger, four kills as well as one dig. And she, she really stepped up in key moments of the game to really keep the Vaqueros in it. And as far as Grand Canyon University side, it's Jenny Murillo again leading in the kill category with 16 kills and three digs. Kyra Moss, our player of the game, had 11 kills and two blocks. And Sarah Haggy, another great component to the game. She, If we had a, a runner up, <laughs> to player of the game, it would probably be we Sarah could do Haggy. double, it'd be both of them, yeah. Yes, she did nine kills and two digs with one block. So great effort from both teams. And we are going to be back here tomorrow afternoon. Hope you guys tune in for a second game. Hopefully UTRGV can increase their kills digs. There was not a lot of aces, so make sure you tune back in here tomorrow afternoon. Remember, you can follow Grand Canyon University on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And don't forget to download the Loeb Nation app so you can watch all live streams from your mobile device or subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash GCU. So tune in for our next live stream as the Loves will be back to take on the Vaqueros tomorrow at 2 p.m. Have a great night. And on behalf of Marley and the rest of my streaming crew, I'm Diana Johnson and go Lopes.